going to be talking with David Taylor this morning about what's going on in sales, and I know they have some rather exciting things to tell us about. So, David, welcome. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Good. Now, what's going on in sales? So, we have a lot of exciting things that are happening right now. The team has been really busy um, as we, of course, try to invite more folks here to live with us. Um, so some, a, a few things that we wanted to bring to your attention. Of course, you know, we always have our event schedules. We always have a lot of events going on, but we have a really important event coming up um, on Thursday, October 5th. Right. Uh, this is our health and wellness extravaganza, which is really our big home expo. You know, we do this about twice a year. Um, I, I'm sure the residents are familiar with it because, you know, we kind of um, entringe on your lives a little bit. Especially as, here in Village Square. Especially <laughs> here in Village Square. Um, we take over the woodland skies, we take over the lobby area, uh, but it's such a, a, an important event for us. Um, it, it really brings a lot of folks onto campus. We'll have about 150 to 200 folks here that day day. Um, it's a chance for them to not only see apartments that they may be interested in moving in, but it also gives them an opportunity, especially at this one, to talk to some resident driven activity groups mm -hmm. that really speak to the whole health and wellness aspect right. of living here at Green Spring. So right. we can't be more thrilled. Um, I know the team is right now, as I'm speaking, frantically um, putting all of the finishing touches to that event so we're well prepared. Um, and so so just wanted to give everyone just kind of a quick heads up that, you know, we will be taking over Village Square. And, and of course, we apologize for the inconvenience, but we hope everyone understands. Oh, we do. We do. Definitely. Um, and then, of course, just wanted to give everyone an update on kind of where we are in regards to um, how our moves are going. Um, it's, it's crazy to think that we're kind of entering the colder months um, and that this year is, is coming to an end. It is. It's, Christmas it's, is tomorrow, I think. I know, right? <laughs> I read something um, uh, the other day that it was it was saying you know 20 more Mondays until Christmas, which is it <laughs> blows my mind. But um, you know I think about this year and, and we look at at everything that we've accomplished up to this point. We've had 98 move-ins really? this year. Um, that's incredible um, if if you really think about everything that's involved in moving someone to Greenspring. So right. um, you know we have. About 14, no, excuse me, as of this morning, we have 13 apartments available. Um, we're running right around 98.9, so I'll round up and say 99% occupied. So we're doing a really great job. What size apartments are these that are available? So we have a good mix actually right now. We have a, a couple of two bedroom, one baths. Um, we only have one one bedroom right now. Uh, we have a couple of studios um, and um, one two bedroom room two baths so we don't have a lot um, but you know we have a good mix um, of some of the apartments that we have available and then the other thing that I know a lot of residents have been talking about and hearing about are some of the new apartments that we're creating yes yes how are those working out so they're working out really well actually you know we we just reserved our last one uh, yesterday um, and we've been going through the permitting process um, finding out who's going to actually be working on those apartments and we kind of gotten everything nailed down at this point so construction is actually going to be starting pretty soon the goal and everyone that's reserved in it they're set to really take keys and move in around December 1st so really? yeah so we're really excited about that I know there's been a lot of intrigue about what they're going to look like. Might have to see about putting together some kind of tour of, of these homes because it's something that we haven't really done a lot here at this community, um, but we're really excited about now the how finish are, line. How are these coming about? So the way it works is, you know, when two apartments come open next to each other, mm -hmm. we look and see whether or not it would be um, uh, beneficial if it's even possible for us to, to bring those two together to make larger apartment homes. So you take a one bedroom and a one bedroom that come open, you put them together, now you go from having two apartments that are around 700 square feet to one apartment that's like 1500 square feet. Um, and it just because we have a high demand, especially in this area for some of our larger apartments, right. 
it just works in the community as well as our prospects benefit mm -hmm. um, to find opportunities where we can do this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a process. It takes a Are long time. Are they all time. still just two bedrooms? So they're all sold as two bedrooms. Um, the ones that we have combined up to this point, um, who knows what we're going to be able to do down the road. We might be able to have more larger one bedrooms, but right now these are um, customized two bedroom apartment homes. Um, but the process does take a while. You have to yeah, go I through permits imagine. and everything. So sure. it's been a, a fun process. Tearing down walls. And yeah, so it's 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 definitely a process, but one that we're excited about, and I know the residents or the incoming residents that have reserved them are also equally excited. So more to come on that. Where are these located? So we have three of them right now. Um, they're spread throughout the entire community. Um, we have one in Oak Hill, we have one in Maple Creek, and then we have one in Crestwood Court. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they're spread out. Uh -huh. So well, very good. Yeah, very exciting. So. Yeah, I hope you open them so the rest of us can see them. <laughs> I, believe me, I'm just as anxious as all of the residents are to see those, so mm -hmm. very excited. That's great. Mm -hmm. So what else is going on? Um, you know, once again, we're just trying to keep pace with uh, the demand of moving in. Um, I will say one, one big change that we just had in our office is a switching of roles. Um, Maya, who used to be our move-in coordinator, and Rachel, who was our event coordinator, switched roles. And so now Rachel is our move-in coordinator and Maya is our event coordinator. So for residents who have worked alongside of those two ladies, whether in, in the moves or in the events, just know that you know your contact could be switching um, or has switched. Um, but we're, they're really excited and we're really excited to bring some new energy to both of those two um, functions in our office. Um, they've always done a great job. They work really well together and it's given them an opportunity to really kind of train one another right. so um, you know that's about everything that's really happening right now mm -hmm. um, like I said we're all just getting uh, ready for for the winter and colder months and, and kind of just gearing up for the fourth quarter of the year which I can't believe is already here I know you've been having more events over in the Hunters Crossing area we are um, Hunters Crossing just gives us more space to work in mm -hmm. um, you know outside of the expo that we're gonna have in Village Square um, Hunters Crossing it's the center of campus um, it's one of our newer clubhouses um, so it just gives us the opportunity um, to really maximize the space and invite more people mm -hmm. um, some of the other uh, clubhouses it gets it's tough, um, and when we have a lot of people, we of course have to inconvenience the residents sure. in order to get the space that we need. Sure. And Hunters Crossing allows us to do that without disrupting, um, you know, everyone's day to day. So it's helpful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. So, anything else? Uh, that's that's about it for for us. Um, you know, obviously, you know where we are. If there's ever any questions, or you have a referral, or you want to participate in some of the events, come on down to Village Square and see us. We always love to add new residents to the mix. So, tell me a little bit about uh, because I've been talking with one person who's thinking about downsizing from right. a two bedroom to a one bedroom. Sure. How does that work? Um, so if there is a, an instance or a case where you're hoping to, you know, transfer within the community, um, there is a transfer uh, policy that our team follows. You come down and you visit with um, our team, Sheila Willing, contact her, and she'll talk you through what that process looks like. Um, you know, several residents usually come down and, and meet with her and talk with her about it. Um, and, you know, it's it's one of those processes where we're happy to help residents out that, that want to move to a, a smaller or apartment or, or move around within the community they just need to be aware that there are some costs that can be involved in that not only are you gonna you know pay for the move cost um, you know moving your stuff from one apartment to the other um, but there's also uh, a refurbishment cost you know bringing your apartment up to a like standard so you just need to want to make sure that you understand all the costs that are involved to making that move but if you come down schedule a time with with myself or, or Sheila and we can walk you through that process but it is something that you can do right mm -hmm. okay okay well I think you've that told us all you can tell us about sales. That's it. That's it. All, all good stuff. All good, all good stuff. stuff. Okay. Well, let's see what this video is that we have on tap uh, to, to, to talk about uh, the Care Fund and the resident survey. <laughs> 